that he treasures unlimited has decided to come to Thomas Edison's National Historical Park. So Siggy, my meditation, manifestation instructor, and clairvoyant is with me and our great friend Steve who does paranormal work is also here. So we're going to take a look inside and see what we find out. Every site on earth has the imprint of the history that was etched upon it. Perhaps it was the family that lived in a house or a battlefield, or, in this case, Edison Laboratories at West Orange, New Jersey. Joanne has been a psychic for much of her life. It is a gift. She is here with Cindy to glean information about the Edison National Historic Site, which has been virtually the same since 1931 when Thomas Edison died. Joanne picked up a number of things during the visit, and we are here to share several. Keep in mind that Joanne is not a historian, nor does she Google locations or people or databases to look more authentic with her readings. Her work speaks for itself in truth, and she has uncovered things in this visit and others that even wow the National Park Service Rangers who work there daily. We walked through much of the site, and though others were there, Joanne was able to recover spirits who seemed to call the Edison Labs home, at least while we were there. So in this music room uh, at Thomas Edison's laboratory, we're getting um, a little bit of activity and predominantly get a Linda or a Lindy. So I don't know what she's doing, if she was singing or she seems to be roaming around the piano and, and the photograph. We are in the phonograph room and Edison reached international fame when he invented the phonograph. And being in this room, I have a predominant spirit I'm getting a Lynn or a Linda. Don't know if it's first, middle, last name, uh, or Lin Lindsay, or uh, something to Lena, Leah, something to that. Um, but she's very predominant. She's behind me, hovering kind of around the piano. Very proud woman, um, very stern woman. Uh, that's the presence that's being felt right now in this room. There is another. A uh, person with her, a little bit more activity behind us, but she is definitely her soul, her spirit is predominant. It turns out that the Lynn, or Lindsay, is actually one of the most famous opera singers of all time, Jenny Lind. Jenny Lind was a Swedish singer known as the Swedish Nightingale, who's to eventually tour with the legendary P.T. Barnum to stop at 96. U.S. cities during a tour. Edison invented the phonograph in 1877 and Jenny Lind passed away in 1887. This gives a window of 10 years by which Jenny Lind could have visited the recording studios. National Park Service guides have verified that indeed Jenny Lind did come to this location to make a recording. <laughs> 